Hello everyone. Today we're going to use Google Keyword Planner to go through keyword research together. The first thing you need to do is you need to access Google Keyword Planner, which means you're going to log into your Google Ads, click on Tools and Settings, and click on Keyword Planner. Once you click on Keyword Planner, you need to go to discover new keywords. So for those of you, for example, who started the process from the beginning, once you click on Tools and Settings, you go to Keyword Planner, and here you need to click on Discover New Keywords. The next thing you need to do is you need to narrow down to the location of interest. So you can choose one or more countries, or you can keep it global, or you can narrow down to a city, for example. So let's say we're going to investigate Singapore. So we're going to save. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to seed one or more keywords here to get started. So we're going to give an example now that is relevant to insurance. Let's say we want to investigate everything about insurance in Singapore. We need to brainstorm all the categories, the keyword categories, the topics, or the keyword clusters, you can call it anything you like, relevant to insurance in Singapore in this example that we're going to give. So when it comes to insurance, there are a lot of different verticals. For example, we have life insurance. We have let's say home insurance. We have health insurance. We have motor or vehicle insurance. And we also have generic insurance keywords, right? So we have these categories, life, home, health, motor, generic insurance keywords. Obviously there are more categories, but now for the sake of the example, we are going to narrow down on these four categories. We are going to start one category at a time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come here and type in a keyword. For example, life insurance. And then we're going to click on get results. Once we do this is we need to filter our results. Keyword Planner has a tendency to give us a lot of nonsense terms, meaning terms that are not relevant to the seed keyword. So we are going to click on add a filter and we are going to say that we want to narrow down only on keywords that contain life insurance. And now we're going to apply and the system will filter only the keywords containing life insurance. Then I'm going to go all the way on the top right of the screen and I'm going to click download keyword ideas. And I'm going to download these keyword ideas as a Google Sheet. And now we need to go through a couple more steps. So we're going to open the sheet here and what I need to keep is the column that is relevant to the keyword, the average search demand on a monthly basis, and then we're also going to keep the three-month change and the year-on-year -year change, the trends for these keywords. Everything else I'm going to remove. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my data. So what I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm going to filter here and I'm going to remove all the entries that are zero, basically, right? So all the keywords that have zero volume because we don't need to deal with keywords that have zero volume. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to grab these data, all of them from the top, and we are going to move them to a different Google Sheet. So here we have a Google Sheet named Keyword Research, and we're going to paste basically everything here, only the values. If you want, you can also do a little bit of formatting for everything to look, let's say, decent. So let's actually make everything a little bit bigger. And a couple more things here, we need to attempt to sort them also from highest to lowest and make this a number and that's it. So now we have all the keywords relevant to life insurance in Singapore. Obviously there are going to be keywords that are irrelevant, but now for the sake of the example, we're not going to deal with those keywords. Ideally, you will need to clean them up. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to format the next columns at the same pattern. Next, I'm going to go to Keyword Planner and we're going to continue with the next type of insurance, for example, health insurance. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to change my filter here. So I'm going to say, I only want keywords that include health insurance in this list. And I'm going to repeat this process, meaning I'm going to download everything on a Google Sheet or an Excel, it is the same thing. And once you do this, then you are going to, again, eliminate this column. You are going to grab these keywords, and you're going to paste them here. Same drill. So I have my keyword average monthly searches, three month and year on year change. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some sense to this data, meaning that we are going to sort them in descending order. So next category is relevant to, let's say, travel insurance. So we are going to basically download again all the data, 
Here, we're going to change the filter. So now I want only keywords that contain travel insurance. We do this filtering because we don't want to mix up our list with irrelevant terms. This is the objective of doing this filter. So I'm going to grab this data and I'm going to go through the same drill. So once these data are downloaded, I'm going to open the sheet here. I'm going to remove again everything. And then what I'm going to do, copy everything and paste it here. Again, it's ideal to do some cleanup. For example, remove everything that is zero or everything that has no data. So you have a clean list. And the last thing we're going to do now is we're also going to deal with generic terms. So how can you make sure that you're going to use Keyword Planner only to get generic terms? What we need to do is we need to rely on filtering again. So I'm going to come here to Keyword Planner and I'm going to seed only the keyword insurance. And this time what we're going to do is remove basically. So we're going to say, I want all the keywords relevant to insurance, but not the keywords that contain travel. And then we're going to add another filter and we're going to say not the keywords that contain health. And also I don't want any keywords that contain, let's say life. And also you can go ahead and you can exclude all the other categories, for example, car, motor, and so forth, right? So why we are doing this is because we don't want keywords that contain specific type of insurance because these are supposed to be generic terms. Right, which means that we need to add quite a few filters basically here in order to make sure that we're going to have a clean list. But I think you get the logic. So now I'm not going to overdo it here just for the sake of time. Otherwise, this video is going to be super long. So we're going to remove everything that is relevant to, I don't know, medical, business, this, that, and then same drill. So I'm going to get the Google Sheet. So the system is preparing the report here. I'm going to open it. Again, I'm going to remove the currency column here and I'm going to transfer my data to the main Google Sheet. So same drill here. Now, obviously this list needs a little bit of more cleanup because we need to make sure that when it comes to generic terms, we are not going to have them mixed up with other terms that are vertical specific. But for the sake of the example now, let's say that we did this and here we go. What we need to do now, so this is the detailed research. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create another tab here on my Google Sheets and I'm going to call this summary. And here in summary, I'm going to create a column named topics, another column here named average monthly searches. And also, if you want, you can include the three month change and the year on year change. But now we're going to keep it simple. So we're going to have topics and average monthly searches. And how many topics I have? I have, I think, four topics, life, health, travel, and generic. So I have life insurance, health insurance, travel insurance, and generic terms. So what we're going to do now is we are going to summarize the volume, right? So we're going to say that average monthly searches for life is the sum of this column. And the average monthly searches for health insurance is the sum of this column. And the average monthly searches for travel is the sum of this column. And the average monthly searches for generic terms is the sum of this column. Now it's not perfectly clean what we have here in terms of data, but it's still very useful. So now what I have actually is a summary of the most popular categories in the insurance space in Singapore that we used as an example. And I can also plot a chart here and I can see percentage wise, what is the most popular category. I can also, let's say, visualize this in a different way, any way you like. So I can see in absolute terms, actually how much bigger is travel as opposed to life and health insurance. What is the value now of this keyword research? One, you will be able to make decisions when it comes to SEO. And two, you will be able to make decisions when it comes to paid search or Google ad. And when it comes to SEO, you can always go to detailed research here. You can see what are the most popular keywords and phrases, how they are trending for every category. Same thing you can also do for Google ads. So you can use this document in many ways. Again, keyword research is something super useful. You are going to use it in many cases. This is an anchor document. Normally we go through this type of research for all the verticals under our business. Some disclaimers here. Disclaimer number one, you can use different keyword research tools. Namely, you can use Ahrefs, you can use SEMRAS, you can use anything that you like. The tool doesn't matter. The process is the most important. Disclaimer number two, you can use Excel instead of Google Sheets. 
is exactly the same thing, exactly the same process. And disclaimer number three, the most important one. If you know coding, you can automate the process. You can automate the process through Python. You can create a script that goes to Keyword Planner, seeds a keyword, gets the results, and paste them straight into a document like this. If you want to create a document like this in an automated way, feel free to get in touch. We can help you do it quickly and easily and at a low cost also. And we can help you customize a keyword research document that is going to refresh the regular interval. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found a lot of value and you are able to conduct your own keyword research. Make sure you subscribe and you like this video. It helps tremendously for us to create new content and have a great day in any time zone.